Hi everyone, Dr. Sunil Dand, internal medicine physician. Welcome to another video. There has been a big announcement within the last couple of weeks from a major US physician organization, the American Medical Association, regarding the use of a key measurement which has been in use for decades to gauge somebody's weight and their health risk. This is a measurement known as the body mass index. It is widely used. And this announcement was actually no great surprise to me. I was hearing mutterings about it for some time. And I believe that this announcement is as much driven by ideology and politics as it is about science and health. In fact, more driven by ideology and politics because that is the era that we're now living in where our scientific and medical institutions are completely captured by ideologues. Take a look at this story. So here's an alert I got in my inbox, bye bye BMI, new policy on healthy weight. US Doctors Group adopts new policy on healthy weight assessment. The American Medical Association, AMA on Wednesday, said it will advise doctors to pay less attention to body mass index in determining if a patient is at a healthy weight, saying the measure does not predict disease risk equally well across racial and ethnic groups. BMI, a ratio of weight to height, has long been used to define underweight, normal weight, overweight, obesity, and morbid obesity, despite mounting evidence that it is an inaccurate predictor of health risks on an individual level. So what was a major reason for the American Medical Association to do this, to make this announcement? There have been issues with using BMI as a measurement due to its historical harm, and it's used for racist exclusion, the AMA said. Racist exclusion? Where did that come from? In its announcement on Wednesday, the AMA acknowledged that the BMI scale is based primarily on data from white people, while body shape and composition vary among racial and ethnic groups, genders and age groups. So an announcement like this, again, no great surprise to me because it sums up the stupidity of our current system and our current leadership. Let's talk first about the American Medical Association, which is a terrible organization. I would never send them any money in membership fees. To be quite frank, I would rather join my local Elvis is Alive club than join the American Medical Association and spend my money on them. All you have to do is go through the history books and read about their terrible history on being wrong on so many issues. So that's the first thing to say. Then let's talk about the body mass index as a measurement which is in wide use. Because yes, it's not perfect. Few things we do in medicine are perfect, but it gives you a good indication about somebody's body weight and their future health risk. How is BMI calculated? Well, it is the weight in kilograms, anybody's weight in kilograms, divided by their height in meters squared. And anyone can go online and plug in these numbers and come up with their own BMI. And in terms of how we use BMI to assess a healthy weight or not, a BMI of 20 to 25 is considered an ideal body weight, 25 to 30 is considered overweight, and more than 30 is obese. Is it perfect again? No, but most of the time it is very accurate. And it's so funny when you dive into other statements regarding BMI, one of the reasons people give for not liking it is that people with excessive muscle mass, i.e. bodybuilders, don't have an accurate number. Of course they don't. Bodybuilders already know that. But walk around your average mall in the United States or your average Target or Walmart. How many bodybuilders do you actually see? This is an infinitely small percentage of the population. So to use that as a reason to abolish BMI, or one reason, is absolutely ludicrous. And we'll come to the race issue in a moment, but I want to talk more about the particular ideology and mindset that drives this sort of decision. To abolish BMI, which is actually a good predictor in most people and fairly accurate. This is the logic that pervades so many of our institutions nowadays, and it goes hand in hand with wokeism, let's be completely honest here, rather than address a problem, rather than face uncomfortable questions and dive into issues, get to root causes, even if the answers are uncomfortable, what do they do? Hey, let's just change the definition. Let's just sweep it under the carpet. Let's just change what everything means. Maybe that will make the problem go away. This sort of mindset is absolutely everywhere these days, and it is a complete logic fail. But let's come back to this race issue for a moment, because these are the very people who claim to care about racial issues and want to sort out racial inequalities. 
What could be more racist, in my opinion, than sweeping a problem like this under the carpet? Let's take statistics and actual numbers. Let's think about the African-American community in the United States. A few decades ago, the obesity rates were in the single figures. Now they are at astronomical levels. They are one of the worst hit communities by obesity rates and all of the chronic diseases that go with it, like type 2 diabetes, heart disease, other inflammatory diseases. According to latest statistics, over 80% of the African American population in the United States is overweight or obese. In some areas, obesity rates, obesity rates, not overweight rates, obesity rates hit 50%. And you only need to look around and drive into some of these communities and see the catastrophic effect that this is having on children nowadays. And people are getting sicker and sicker. Authorities refuse to address the root causes, i.e. why are people having to eat terrible pro-inflammatory junk foods? Why don't you work to make real food more affordable? Why don't you work to educate people and have public health campaigns? But no, instead, let's blame the measurement. Let's abolish the BMI. Let's not talk about it. Let's let these poor people get sicker and sicker, sweep it under the carpet, and huge swathes of the establishment will profit off this. Because yes, that is ultimately what it's all about. This is why it is so sinister, this mindset. So I absolutely do not agree with abolishing BMI as a measurement. I'll say once more, it's not perfect, but it's a good measurement and a fairly accurate predictor in most people. But in the meantime, when we see policies like this, the first thing I think is, please get me a rocket ship off this planet. When we have leaders like this, when we have authorities who will never ever want to address uncomfortable questions and they will quietly let things slide, let problems get worse and worse and keep profiting off sickness. This is what this is all about in the end. That's all I've got to say about that. Thanks everyone for listening. Let me know your thoughts down below. Check out my online course and my uncensored platform. Those links are down below. Hit the like button if you like this video and the bell button for more similar videos in the future. We will talk again very soon.